Hey there, today at Tiger Drop Films, I'm going to discuss why you should watch Ultraman Decker. Debouting back on Ultraman Day this past July, Ultraman Decker is the newest entry in the long-running tokusatsu series by Super Hour Productions. By the recording of this video, the sixth episode is aired, I must say, Decker is a must-watch. Whether you're a big fan of Ultraman Dynet or are a casual viewer of the Ultra series, I believe Decker offers something for all audiences without losing what makes Ultraman special. For the fans who loved Ultraman Z but weren't on board with Ultraman Trigger, then I believe that Decker is enough of that extra spice and character focus to keep you enthralled. Our main protagonist is Asumi Kanada, played by Hiroki Masumoto, a 20-year-old young dude who sells rice crackers with his grandpa. What a nice life. <laughs> his life is turned upside down when the spears invade, forming a barrier around Earth and cutting off all connection to the rest of humanity's colonies. Asumi's parents are currently visiting Mars, meaning he has no way of contacting them. This challenges the heroic and cheerful nature of Asumi, who must find the strength within to defeat the Spears after losing his first battle to them as Ultraman Decker, a mysterious figure much like the original Ultraman Dinah, but a friend to humanity nonetheless. Following the end of episode 1, Asumi, along with two fellow cadets, Ichika Krino and Soma Viruman, decide to join the new Guts Select in hopes of saving humanity from the Spears. The cool thing about episode 2 is that it takes place a year after the first episode, showing that it is not simply a matter of training to join Guts Select, rather that Asumi, Ichika, and Ryuman must discover why each of them want to protect the future and those they care about. I find this approach to world building and character building in the first two episodes to be well thought out where there is just enough to give the audience a taste of who these characters are and how they fit into their dynamics as people. While helping the injured, the trio is noticed by Captain Taiji Morihoshi, who accepts them as the new members of the team, officially, which they find to be a complete win. <laughs> and not only that, but seeing these characters continue to grow as they face hardships throughout the series will be exciting to tune into every week. In fact, last week's episode 5 was devoted to Achika, showing that the show is confident to focus on its character-specific episodes like the best of Ultra shows. One thing in addition I really liked that was in Ultraman Z but missing in Trigger was the build-up to each episode's kaiju, and thankfully Decker is following what Z did with that. When it comes to the iconic tokusatsu that is essential to Ultraman's DNA, uh, well, just look at these screenshots from episode 4. They're really great. Main series director Masayoshi Takasu and the effects team have an eye for dynamic shots and have employed CGI to help emphasize the tokusatsu effects. Masayoshi was director of this year's Ultraman Trigger episode Z film and has worked on nearly every past Ultra show since 2016's Orb. <laughs> Would you look at that? He was even the assistant director back in Cosmos. The man's been working on the Ultra series for 20 years now. Ultraman Decker himself behaves a lot like his predecessor, Dinah, down to having the same type change forms. Now I love Dinah, so seeing his spiritual successor is pure awesomeness. We're definitely going to see Shin, Asuka, and Dinah appear later on, so be hyped. Another treat for Dinah fans would be the ending song, Kanata Toku, by none other than Hironobu Kageyama the man who composed Ultra High and Shining on Love. I'm glad Two Spro decided to go ham on this. And for you Yakuza fans out there, the new Hanjiro is voiced by Hiroshi Tsuchida, better known as Kazuki from Stardust. <laughs> Small world, huh? All in all, I think people ought to watch Ultraman Decker. It's pure fun, there's great special effects and characters, as that feel-good inspiration Ultraman is known for and so far has dabbled into the formulas the most popular entries are known for. Check out the first two episodes you don't want to miss out. There are now subtitles for fans all over. Thanks for watching, hit the like and subscribe for more content. Until next time, Mikagoji Bro out.